Justin, tell the camera what's going on. Justin! Oh. Yeah! Oh, nice. That's a hog. Is that a PB, you think? It is for sure. <clears throat> so good. Yes! Right here, we have my 2019, 2020 Manitoba fishing license. Today is an exciting day. It is opening day in Manitoba for the Southern region. It's something I kind of look forward to. There's a month of closure throughout April and today on May 11th, season opens and we're going fishing. So I'm gonna introduce you to our co-host for the week, but uh, we're gonna grab the Alumacraft and uh, head north. Here we have our co-host for the day. You remember this guy? How could you forget? Justin Jenkin from Assorted Meats Fishing Team. In the back, we have Brett Gardner from Lunker Hunt. Lunker Hunt. Tell me how your life has changed since being on uh, being on my vlog. Since I've been on your vlog, Jay, a lot of things have changed. Uh, mostly the fame, the glory, the cash, the Denali, the yachts on the rig. You know, basically <laughs> all the things most men dream about. I would say the Nopaming's kind of the gem for big bass in Manitoba. I would, would, you, would you agree without, with that? Without question. Yeah, it has more big bass lakes than any other region in Manitoba, eastern region. Anyways, we are uh, we're doing a tour this weekend. I'm not sure what lakes we're all gonna fish, but my favorite part is fishing new lakes because there's so many to check out there. So we're gonna fish some new lakes. Anyways, we're gonna get driving and we'll be fishing in four hours, five hours? Four and a half. Four and a half hours. Yeah. See you guys in a bit. All right, what's the game plan, Brett? What's happening? <laughs> All right, opening day, working the kinks out. All right, so we're driving by. We didn't even make into the park yet. We look to the left and there's a waterfall that's just rushing a set of rapids. And that is a great spring spot. And I don't think there's a better time to fish a spot like that than opening day. So can you tell the people what creek we're fishing today or is it a secret? We are fishing. Don't, don't tell them, don't creek tell X. them. Lead me through what you're doing right now. I am fishing. Here we go, first cast of the season. Last cast, and then we're gonna head into the park. So expecting bigger things out of you guys. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. You're good, you're good, okay. Okay, let's go, let's go. Welcome to the park. We have now entered. Please display your park permit on the dash. So guys, what makes the Nopaming good and why it gets so much less pressure than the white shell in other parts of Manitoba is the gravel roads. The roads aren't incredible, but if you're willing to put a little more wear and tear on your truck, on your boat, you can get to some gems. There are so many trophy bass lakes in here. We're gonna sample a couple this week. We are almost at lake number one, opening season 2019, baby. Here we go. Ow! Let's go. I'm ready. We're small efficient. It's early, they could still be deep. We're gonna start deep and work our way shallower. They were wintering not too long ago, so they're probably gonna be near those wintering spots. Those deep plateaus, those deep ledges. Enough talking. Fish, on. Yeah. We're hooked up. What do we got? What do we got? First fish, I switched to the swim bait, and that was I think second cast on the swim bait. I don't think it's gonna be a bass. I think it's gonna be a pike. Oh, that's dinner. No! That was a walleye, shallow walleye. That fish was shallow. Maybe maybe we'll just end up walleye fishing today. Don't talk like that, Jay. There we go, fish on. Yeah, I think it's gonna be, oh, oh, big one too. That is what Manitoba smallmouth fishing's all about right there. Number one, skunk is off. Yeah, I got no confidence on this still, but I think that tells us the fish are gonna be deep. That fish was in about 20 feet of water on the Ned rig, dragging it on the bottom. So it is one o'clock. We've had a little bit of a rougher morning. It's been quite slow. We've been having a hard time finding the smallies. Got some small pike, Jay lost a little walleye, but uh, we're hoping things are gonna turn around. It's pretty bad. It's been bad, it's been bad, yep. What do we got? What do we got? We are hooked up. Oh, no. Is it a bass? Tell me it's a bass. It's big. It's a really big bass if it's a bass. Oh, that's a good one. It is a bass. <laughs> yes! Yes! Woo! Woo! Ah! There we go. That is uh, probably a master angler right there. Brett, first bass of the year. Chunky. 
Throw it on, throw it, throw it on the board. Is that a master? 18 is a master in Manitoba. 18 and a half. 17 three quarters. Close. It's very close. Pretty close. Almost a master, but that is a blimp. That guy's so thick, though. What do you think? We might be onto something, eh? I think we might be. Sweet. Sweet. Yep, buddy. On him. First small of the year. All right. So I was kind of hoping that the fish were going to be shallow setting up where they were just as we started the shoreline that that fish was right where it should be they're obviously not in the deep water there's always some in the deep but i think brett's on again back to back. what do we <laughs> come on yeah this is good this is good oh it's another nice one oh. <laughs> beauty number two as i've been trying to say we're fishing the mouths of these spawning baits, couple spawning baits here, and jerk baits are the ultimate search bait for smallies in the spring. Uh, it gives it that long pause, gives the fish a chance to eat. You can cast them far. Once we're kind of tuned in on it, we might switch to hair jigs um, or a Ned rig, kind of all great spring options. I'll probably cast the jerk bait a bit, and once we dial in on them, which we might have, then we'll slow it down. But two bass, Manitoba opening day, and I think we're gonna get a master yet. Oh, that's a good one. Ready? Oh! oh! <laughs> that's a big bass, boy. Brett is on fire. Is it worth measuring? Right, he's he's short, eh? I think he's Just 16, fat. Probably. All right, keep going. Keep going. Justin, what is going on? The wind current. It's a small hair drink. So there's one buoy and you snagged it. I did, yeah. Okay. Time for your mid-afternoon update. Uh, so we found a couple fish on that last spot. So we kind of have a pattern in mind. Shallow spawning water with some rocks outside. We found another spot that looks the same on the map, so we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna keep bouncing around. I think it's just gonna take finding that right spot to get, you know, 10, 15, 20 smallmouth on the same spot. Um, I got two of the best anglers in Manitoba with me, and they said they could make it happen. This has been our top bait of the day, is a jerk bait. And what makes a jerk bait so good is you can fish it fast. You can cover a lot of water with it. It's big, it's got a lot of flash, but as well, these jerk baits suspend. So when you give it a pop in the water, if it's a jerk bait that's balanced properly, it will just sit there. And you'll get so many of those strikes when the bait's just sitting there. So kind of four go-to spring baits. You've got a jerk bait, that's one of the top search baits. And then once you've found them, some other good baits to slow down and pick it apart, you've got a hair jig, black hair jig, a staple of smallie fishing in the springtime, a Ned rig, I've done some filming with it uh, last year. And then as well, a swim bait, like a little Kitek or something. So those are kind of my four standards. We'll probably cycle through all of them this, uh, this weekend, but so far, this is what they're wanting. That look good? Yeah. How good do it look? Real good. Not good. I don't like, I don't like looking into a camera. So we just finished off on this first lake kind of thing. This next lake that we're kind of sneaking into, that is what we're going down. What do you think? Do you think we'll be able to make it in? I have no idea. It looks kind of fine right now. Guys, we found a creek, and the creek connects to another lake, and we're not sure if we can make it to the other lake, but I've heard there's smallmouth in there as well, so th that's the adventure part of the trip, and that's what I love. I love seeing new water. Even just going through this creek is pretty cool. I'm gonna give you a little view from above and show you uh, how beautiful the spot really is. As you guys saw from up above, pretty amazing. Just another gem in the Nopaming Park. Throw one on there. Start. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Justin's on. Big smolly. Is it a big smolly? I don't something know. Something big, I think. It looked like it had sides coming up the boat. Justin, tell the camera what's going on. Something big. Oh, that's a big bass. That's big. That's big. Keep him off the. Oh, that's a good one. Keep him off the rock. Oh, Justin! Oh. Yeah! Yeah! Boy! That's a hog. Okay, bring that to the front. Yeah. Yes! So Through to the next lake, and that is our first bass. Bring him over here, buddy. So we just switched to the second lake here. Went through that beautiful river that you saw. Uh, we came up on some boulders, probably in like four feet of water or so. Casted out a Ned rig uh, on the backside of one of the boulders, and this big mama lunged it. Opening day, baby. Throw oh. it on the tape right here. 
Oh. oh, and that's not even at, that's not even leveled out. Just under 20. Right there. Almost 20 inch or 19 and three quarters we're gonna call it. Give me one more look. That is a that football. That is a big, that that's is a That's a big, big Manitoba Smalley. That's it, that's what we come out here for, boys. Right there. Let's get this big girl back. That is a oh, <laughs> Well, Justin hasn't done much today, but he came through. <laughs> so good. Is that a PB, you think? It is, for sure. <clears throat> so good. All right, I was uh, filming some slow-mo, but Brett got a nice one. 18? Hold on. Ah! I'd say that's 18. That's a master angler! And that is your second master of the day. Yeah, buddy. Awesome. Sir. Well, we didn't get this one on film, but what do you got? A little bycatch, a little Nopaming bycatch. Beauty. Wow. Canada gold. That swim bait catches everything. It does. That feels big. But these shield walleyes are pretty fun. Nice fish. Check nice this fish. out. That is back to back big walleyes on lake number two. Might be onto a bit of a pattern. Everything's shallow in the spring. There we go. Not fat, but a gold dopamine beauty. Do you want to fish with me tomorrow? No. All right, guys, we're calling it a day. Day one of our Nopaming tour is complete. Two new lakes, two trophies, PB for Justin, a couple big walleyes. I mean, I love fishing new lakes. That is one of my favorite things to do. And uh, there's so many lakes yet to check off the list in the Nopaming Park. We're gonna head to a different lake yet again tomorrow. I'm not sure where we're headed, but I do know tonight we're headed to Nopaming Lodge. That'll be our combinations for the night. A great hub if you're fishing this region and uh, we'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Thank you to Nopaming Lodge for putting us up last night. If you are staying in the area, in the Nopaming, doing a tour, I don't know if there's a better place to stay. You're right on the shores of Bird Lake. So many fishing options close by. Um, today we're once again going to fish a new lake. That's the beauty of the Nopaming. There are so many lakes, so many that I haven't fished myself. And we're bass fishing once again today, day two, Season just opened yesterday. Here we go. Welcome back to day two. As I was gonna say, today the camera is on Easy Cam Post. Easy Cam Post is an awesome monopod type deal that straps onto your uh, seat post and it puts it at a way better angle. Yesterday I had it sitting on my gorilla pod near the floor and it's just not a great angle. It's easy to move it around and pick it up quickly, but now we're keeping it on the Easy Cam Post until some action happens. I'll probably pull it off, but it'll give you a better angle and you'll watch these two guys catch the fish. You guys hit a rock? That sounded loud. We were hoping you're okay. Oh, what time do you get out? It's 10 o'clock now. We've been out for we've only fished for like half an hour, maybe. All right, have a good one, guys. Take care. I want to anger over. So they didn't catch you? No, I am all legal, Jay. Good I'm job. A, I'm a law-abiding citizen. Oh, and oh, it's on. Sean. It's on. Hey! Hey! Awesome. Look at that guy. Beauty, shallow. Beautiful spring colors. Everything, yeah, nice catch another one. It's got everything. Look at that, he even got attacked by a boat. <laughs> Probably. As you guys saw boating away over there, that was uh, Manitoba Conservation, which is very good to see them out and about doing their thing. That's what keeps fishing good. And you know, the wildlife management up to snuff is conservation officers being out, checking on us, uh, making sure everything's legal. Manitoba is barbless. They checked our hooks. We're all good to go. People get nervous around conservation officers, but they're just doing their job. So as long as you're legal, there's no reason to be nervous. And uh, they're keeping it good for all of us. Yeah, on. It feels big. Yeah. Nice job, buddy. Sweet. That's my fish, by the way. Should I take a picture with you? Nope. We are on them. I'm using the little swim bait. 
what Brett was lighting them up with yesterday. This is good. That was my fish, by the way. Really? I'm sorry. Oh, on, yeah. Yeah, on, double. Oh. This is a big that buddy, a good one. We're getting them. Bring them here. Bring them to the front. Bring them to the front. Oh, oh that's a nice bass. Okay, watch your line. Another juicy Nopamink smallmouth bass, baby. Oh, is that a bass? That's a big bass. Big bass. Big, 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 big bass. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Nice. That is a football. That'll go master, I think. I don't think it'll be much over master, but. 18 inches right there, such a nice fish. Fat pre-spawn, doing the swim bait thing, and there are so many fish that size. As far as master anglers go, smallmouth is definitely one of the more attainable ones. And we're gonna keep doing it. That's number three for the trip. We got a banging video. The more we get, there's just more to edit. I'd like to see a 20 incher. Right now, right now, that's it, that's it. Oh my goodness, if this is a 20 incher, <laughs> Oh, that's fat, that's fat. Oh, that's heavy. All right, we're measuring this mama. Short and fat. Wow, that one is not, not 20 inches, but big, round, a lot more consistent today. The swim bait's doing it, so keep rolling. Got a couple more hours to fish. All right, guys, time for a little location talk now. Spring smallmouths can be pretty difficult because they can be really deep still in their wintering spots or super shallow, depending on how the spring has progressed. The biggest thing is just to get bit that first or second time to kind of get those clues and then to expand on it. We spent the first four or five hours of yesterday fishing deep, only caught one little one. As soon as we went shallow, we started hooking up. Obviously, I wish we would have gone shallow earlier, but we didn't know. Um, water temperature, you want to pay attention to that. Once it gets into like high 40s, low 50s, those fish can be pushed up super shallow. Key for us has been kind of three to six feet of water outside of spawning areas. So once, once we caught those first couple of fish, looked at the maps, looked at Google Maps, and we saw where that shallow water was, and we looked for rock nearby. Rock heats up super fast in the spring. Smallies love it. So yeah, we've just been focusing on rocky shorelines, rocky points, and we've seemed to catch quite a few bass. Number one bait has been the swim bait. I'm fishing it on a spinning rod setup. You can do a, a, a casting setup as well if you want something a little heavier, but spinning rod's really easy. This is a seven and a half foot Conquest medium. Seven foot medium rod's gonna do pretty much everything you need in the spring, or seven foot medium light. Hair jigs, swim baits, Ned rigs. Those are kind of the three staples. Jerk baits as well. Maybe you want a little stiffer rod for jerk baits. But uh, between those four baits, you're gonna, you're gonna be set no matter what the situation is. We're not fishing too late today. It is Mother's Day. We gotta get back, call our mothers. So yeah, we're gonna fish a couple more hours and we're gonna pack her in. Jay's good. Jay's snacking them. Oh! <laughs> That's big. We're gonna throw this baby on the tape. Mm, over 19. Over 19. I think this is our second biggest of the trip right there. Love it. What is this? Uh, is this our fourth, fourth, fourth master angler? Fourth right there. One last look for you guys. That is a big Manitoba smallie. Guys, it is two o'clock, we're calling it a trip. Headed back to the launch now, and Brett has one last bass. That was really good timing. Yeah, oh, nice. Hey. We're ending it off with that. Nice size walleye. Justin. Yes, Jay? Did you enjoy your time? I had a great time. Brett, did you enjoy your time? I did. Great time. We're dedicating this video to? Travel Manitoba. No. Well, yes, Travel Manitoba. We're dedicating this video <laughs> to our mothers. Today is Mother's Day. Did you expect me to know that you wanted me to say Mother's Day? Like, really, Jay? Shannon, Ruth, Gladys. Gladys, yep. Our mothers, thank you so much for everything you've done for us. We love you. Great weekend in the Nopaming. Justin Jenkin, Brett Gardner. Check them out on Instagram. YouTube. And if you guys haven't been to the Nopaming before, it is a great option. So many lakes, some of the best bass fishing in Manitoba. And a lot of it is untouched. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And we'll see you next time.